This is the Music History Today podcast for September 15th. On today's show, Huey Lewis breaks through, Johnny Ramone passes away, and Dire Straits break up. First up, though, on this date in 1957, Patsy Cline married her husband, Charles Dick. In 1963, the Rolling Stones and the Beatles were among the performers at the Great Prop Prom Concert in London, England. In 1964, police at a Beatles concert in Cleveland, Ohio, stopped the concert for 10 minutes and warned the audience that they had to stay in their seats and not dance around or else the concert wouldn't continue, you young whippersnappers. Now get off my lawn. God bless the police back in the day. My goodness. Anyway, in 1965... Ford started factory installing 8-track tape players in three of their car models, Mustangs, Thunderbirds, and Lincolns. In 1968, the Barbra Streisand television special A Happening in Central Park premiered. In 1970, United States Vice President Spiro Agnew said that, quote, The youth of America are being brainwashed into a drug culture of rock music, movies, books, and tabloid newspapers, end quote. Spiro Agnew later resigned in disgrace just before his boss Richard Nixon did, just as a reminder. Also in 1970, Bing Crosby received a platinum disc for selling 300 million records. In 1974, entertainer Liza Minnelli married film director Jack Haley Jr., In 1982, Queen played their last concert with Freddie Mercury in America. They would play more concerts overseas, but not back in America. In 1988, Dire Straits broke up. In 2000, country music singer Chris Ledeau performed while awaiting a liver transplant. In 2003, Johnny Cash was laid to rest. Rapper Eve's television show, Eve, premiered. And Madonna released her first children's book called The English Roses. In 2010, Roger Waters started his tour, The Wall Live. In 2012, Patrick Carney of the Black Keys married his wife Emily Ward, and Annie Lennox of the Eurythmics married gynecologist Mitch Besser. In 2015, the group Icon formed. In 2020, Sotheby's Auction House held its first auction of hip-hop memorabilia. If you had the money, then you could have snagged Slick Rick's eye patch for over $25,000. Also, Notorious B.I.G.'s crown that he wore on his last photo shoot for $594,750 and Tupac's love letters for $75,600. In classical music in 2011, Andrea Bocelli performed a concert in Central Park in New York City with special guests Celine Dion and Tony Bennett. In theater in 1928, the musical Good Boy premiered on Broadway. In 1948, the musical Small Wonder opened on Broadway. In 1951, the musical Gentlemen Prefer Blondes closed on Broadway. In 1962, the musical Bravo Giovanni closed on Broadway. In 1977, the Broadway revival of the musical Man of La Mancha premiered. In 1980, David Bowie performed on Broadway for the final time in the play The Elephant Man. And in 2015, the musical Mamma Mia closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on September 15th in 1998, Madonna was the big winner, including winning Video of the Year for the song Ray of Light at the MTV Video Music Awards. And in 1998, same day, Reba McIntyre received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released in the UK on September 15th include in 1972 when John Lennon and Yoko Ono released the album Sometime in New York City. Meanwhile in America, in 1960, Johnny Cash released Johnny Cash Sings Hank Williams. In 1965, Otis Redding released Otis Blue, Otis Redding Sings Soul, a classic album. In 1966, Jefferson Airplane released Jefferson Airplane Takes Off. In 1967, The Kinks released Something Else by The Kinks. In 1971, Bobby Womack released Communication. The band released Cahoots. Deep Purple released Fireball. And Judy Sill released their self-titled album. In 
1972, John Denver released Rocky Mountain High and Grand Funk Railroad released Phoenix. In 1973, Poco released Crazy Eyes. In 1975, Pink Floyd released their classic Wish You Were Here. David Crosby and Graham Nash released Wind on the Water. Hall and Oates released Daryl Hall and John Oates. In 1978, Frank Zappa released Studio Tan. In 1983, Huey Lewis and the News released their breakthrough album, Sports. In 1984, Motorhead released No Remorse. In 1986, Elvis Costello and the Attractions released Blood and Chocolate. Love and Rockets released Express. And Rick Ocasek released This Side of Paradise. In 1987, Tiffany released her self-titled album, The Ramones released Halfway to Sanity, and Donna Summer released All Systems Go. In 1991, Rick Wakeman released 2000 AD Into the Future. In 1992, Bad for Good released Refugee. Michael Penn released Free for All. In 1996, New Edition released Home Again. In 1998, Death released Sound of Perseverance. Marilyn Manson released Mechanical Animals. And America released Human Nature. In 2003, Human League released The Very Best of the Human League. In 2006, Elton John released The Captain and the Kid. And in 2009, Ace Frehley released Anomaly. Singles that were released in the UK on September 15th include in 1967 when Kaleidoscope released Flight from Ashia. Meanwhile in America, in 1959, Jerry Lee Lewis released Little Queenie. In 1967, The Hollies released King Midas in Reverse. In 1969, Jimi Hendrix released Stone Free. In 1970, The Temptations did a twofer. They released Unite the World and Hum Along and Dance. In 1972, The Supremes released I Guess I'll Miss the Man. In 1975, George Harrison released You. In 1978, The Rolling Stones released Respectable. In 1980, Pat Benatar released Hit Me With Your Best Shot. In 1982, Marshall Crenshaw released There She Goes Again. In 1984, Janet Jackson and Cliff Richard released Two to the Power of Love. In 1987, Pink Floyd released Learning to Fly. In 1989, Prince released Party Man off of the Batman soundtrack. In 1997, Genesis released Congo. In 1998, Marilyn Manson released The Dope Show. And Dave Matthews Band released Don't Drink the Water. In 2003, Metallica released Frantic. In 2008, Taylor Swift released Love Story. In 2014, Ray Stremard released No Type. In 2017, Post Malone released Rockstar. And Niall Horan released Too Much to Ask. And in 2019, Danielle Cohen released Siempre. And the Paul Harville Group released I Know. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 15th include opera legend Jesse Norman, rapper Lee Felix of Stray Kids, singer Park Jae Hyung of Day Six, rapper Tisa Korean, country music legend Roy Acuff, Sidney Anderson of Jefferson Airplane, Yvette Sosa of Eden's Crush, DJ KG of Naughty by Nature, Lee Dorman of Iron Butterfly, Mitch Dorg of Crash Test Dummies, Jimmy Gilmer of Jimmy Gilmer and the Fireballs, Pat Barrett of The Crew Cuts, cabaret singer Bobby Short, Jerry Dixon of Warrant, Paul Thompson of Franz Ferdinand, jazz saxophonist Cannonball Adderley, drummer Ola Brunkert of the group ABBA, 
Les Braid of the Swinging Blue Jeans, Motown songwriter Sylvia Moy, folk music singer Maggie Riley, singer Jackie Graham of UB40, guitarist Tim Whalen of Furniture, multi-instrumentalist George Robert, guitarist Hugh Brunford of Super Furry Animals, drummer Alan Schellenberger of the group Lit, drummer Alexander Arzemistev of Bering Strait, singer Jolyn Sai, singer-songwriter Sarah Shook, conductor Raphael Fubeck de Burgos, organist Anton Heiler, blues musician Snooky Pryor, composer and arranger Max Harris, jazz guitarist Al Casey of Fats Waller's band, pianist Roger Ram Ramirez, music critic Stanley Dance, violinist Bert Ambrose, composer Frank Martin, conductor Bruno Walter, and violinist Geno Hube. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 15th include organist Johann Ziegler, who passed away in 1747 at the age of 59. Composer Alessandro Rolla passed away in 1841 at the age of 84. Pianist Louise Ferenc passed away in 1875 at the age of 71. Composer William Hauser passed away in 1880 at the age of 67. Composer Julius Zarebski passed away in 1885 at the age of 31. Composer Syed Darwish passed away in 1923 at the age of 31. Composer Anthony Showalter passed away in 1924 at the age of 66. Pianist Leonard Borwick passed away in 1925 at the age of 57. Composer Charles Gabriel passed away in 1932 at the age of 76. Composer David Thomas passed away in 1934 at the age of 61. Composer Anton von Webern was shot and killed during World War II by an American soldier while the soldier was on patrol in 1945 at the age of 61. Composer Jacinto Guerrero passed away in 1951 at the age of 56. Composer Steve Brown passed away in 1965 at the age of 75. Composer Ulvi Erkin passed away from a stroke in 1972 at the age of 66. Musician Victor Jara passed away in 1973 at the age of 32. Singer and actor Tommy Leonetti passed away in 1979 at the age of 50. Pianist Bill Evans passed away from a bleeding ulcer in 1980 at the age of 51. Trumpet player Rafael Mendez passed away in 1981 at the age of 75. Jazz percussionist Willie Bobo passed away from cancer in 1983 at the age of 49. Reggae DJ Prince Far One passed away in 1983 at the age of 38. Singer Johnny Hartman passed away from cancer in 1983 at the age of 60. Pianist Charles Lynch passed away in 1984 at the age of 77. Trumpet player Cootie Williams passed away in 1985 at the age of 77. Musicologist Fritz Noski passed away in 1993 at the age of 72. Ginger Baker's Air Force percussionist Speedy Akure passed away from cancer in 1993 at the age of 62. Saxophonist Haywood Henry passed away in 1994 at the age of 81. Composer Earl George passed away in 1994 at the age of 70. Singer and actress Joan Perry passed away in 1996 at the age of 85. Clarinetist Jack Brimmer passed away in 2003 at the age of 88. The legendary Mr. Johnny Ramone of the Ramones passed away from cancer in 2004 at the age of 55. Conductor Aldemaro Romero passed away in 2007 at the age of 79. Percussionist Spex Powell passed away in 2007 at the age of 85. Richard Wright of the group Pink Floyd passed away from cancer in 2008 at the age of 65. Soka musician Arrow passed away from cancer in 2010 at the age of 60. Composer Guido Turchi passed away in 2010 at the age of 93. Singer Bobby Mansfield of the group The Wren passed away in 2013 at the age of 76. Singer and actor Harry Dean Stanton passed away in 2017 at the age of 91. Rick Ocasek of The Cars passed away in 2019 at the age of 75. Singer Roberto Leal passed away in 2019 at the age of 67. 
Conductor Jan Krenz passed away in 2020 at the age of 94. And singer Caroline Cart passed away in 2020 at the age of 88. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 16th, when in 1984, the MTV Cops show that NBC envisioned, Miami Vice, premiered. <laughs> 